Welcome to Action 242 as we continue to explore relationships. And perhaps the most intimate relationship we can experience other than that with God is a marriage relationship. I recently celebrated my 20th wedding anniversary to my wonderful wife. And it's been a wonderful 20 years. But at times it's been quite frustrating because my wife isn't perfect like I am. Obviously, I'm not perfect. And I read a, a wonderful quote a while back, and it said this, that next time you're tempted to criticize your wife's faults, remember it's those very faults that stopped her getting a better husband than the one that she did. See, the miracle of marriage is it's two sinful, frail, imperfect people coming together and trying to live together. It's a miracle. And I I'm just glad that God is at the center of my marriage because I can't understand how anybody can make a marriage successful without God, although some people do. But one key to my understanding of marriage is this, that my role is not to make my wife more like me. My role is to help my wife become more like Jesus. And that is a simple revelation, but an important one. Because my wife is my first discipleship responsibility. She's my first church. She's my first congregation. She's my first responsibility before God. And that's one of the reasons why in Scripture we're told that a qualification for leadership in the church is to be a faithful husband and a man who can manage his family well. A healthy marriage is a beautiful picture of Christ and his church. And we read that in Ephesians 5. Let me read that to us. Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 25 to 27. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. And there's this beautiful scripture that shows that when a husband and a wife fulfill their godly roles, it's a beautiful picture of Christ and his church. Christ the bridegroom coming back for a spotless bride. As we talked about family previously, marriages are under attack like never before. Marriages seem disposable. It seems so easy to uh, divorce and remarry and divorce and remarry. We really have to hold marriage as a sacred thing. We have to help each other. We have to disciple husbands and wives and we have to celebrate marriage. It's a God-given gift, which is a beautiful thing, which is a key component to a healthy church and to living out authentic Christianity. Mm -hmm.